Hi friends, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about Southern Blotting Stepwise Procedure and Applications. Southern Blotting is a technique that was developed by E.M. Southern in 1975. It's a technique to find out specific DNA fragment in a DNA sample. The principle of this technique is hybridization. Hybridization is a procedure of finding out a specific DNA molecule by using a complementary strand or complementary DNA prop that will bind to the target sequence and form a hybrid. And this is a picture showing the procedure. First of all, we have to isolate the DNA, then restriction digestion using restriction enzymes, and separation of these fragments using gel electrophoresis, then transfer of these fragments from gel to a membrane, the process called as blotting. The next step is removal of the blot. Usually the membrane is a nitrocellulose filter membrane, then addition of radioactively labeled props excess probes are washed off then signal detection that is by autoradiography by using an x-ray film if the target dna is present we'll be getting some bands and we'll be discussing each step in detail step one dna isolation and purification first of all we need to isolate the dna from cell usually the cells are placed in a cell lysis buffer the lysis occurs as as a result the cell contents are released Next step is we need to remove the protein from the sample. This purification procedure, the pr enzyme we are using is proteinase enzyme that will degrade all the proteins. Then DNA is precipitated by alcohol precipitation. We can use either ethanol or methanol. Invisible DNA fibers are removed and suspended in buffers. Step two, restriction digestion. This DNA is cut into small fragments using restriction enzymes like EcoR1. Step 3, these fragments are separated by gel electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is a separation technique. Uh, the separation is based on size. Agarose, the gel may be made of agarose or polyacrylamide. And these are minute pores through which these DNA molecules will move. Smaller ones will move faster and larger ones remain at the top. And the procedure is DNA is negatively charged. This is the lane so that it will move towards a positive electrode. For visualization, we need to stain with ethidium, ethidium bromide and under fluorescent, fluorescence, UV fluorescence, we could see the pans, whether the restriction digestion is okay or not. Step 4 and 5, denaturation and plotting. As DNA is a double-stranded molecule, we need to denature the DNA. After, after that, denaturation is often carried out by using NaOH, then neutralized with NaCl to prevent rehybridization. Then the blotting procedure. Blotting procedure is actually the transfer of DNA bands from gel to the nitrocellulose membrane. This blot is made permanent by exposing to UV radiation or trying at 80 degrees Celsius. And this is a picture showing the procedure. This 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 is the DNA band. Suppose this is a DNA bands in the gel, and this is a nitrocellulose sheet just above the gel, and there's a stack of a stack of filter papers and some weight this may be by capillary port blotting and later you can see that these after some time these bands are transferred from gel to the membrane and the process is called as blotting step six hybridization hybridization we need to find out our dna target whether our dna dna is present or not in the sample the label probe is added to the membrane in, in buffer and incubated for several hours and the probe will bind to the target DNA if it is present. Probes are small pieces of labeled DNA that is used to find out DNA complementary DNA fragment. That's why the principle is called as hybridization and this probe will bind to the complementary strand and as the probe is radio labeled we can detect that. And the next step is wash and autoradiography. Excess probes are washed out. For radioactive probes, X-ray film is placed over the membrane. If our if the sample contains our DNA of interest, then the probe will emit the X-ray film. The radioactivity, the emission of radiation, will make bands in the X-ray films so that we could get bands indicating that our DNA is present. And this is the procedure. And this is the summary of the procedure. First of all, extract and purify DNA from cells. Second, it is made up into small fragments using restriction enzymes. Then separated by gel electrophoresis, denature, denature DNA using NaCl, 
then finally transfer to nitrocellulose membrane at radio label prop for hybridization to take place and finally wash of unbound prop and autoradiography to detect whether the prop has bound to our DNA of interest or not. These are the applications of southern plotting. It is basically the technique to find out specific DNA in a sample. To isolate desired DNA for making recombinant DNA used in cancer diagnosis and also many genetic diseases for may be associated with a particular gene in random fragment length polymorphism used in phylogenetic analysis, diagnosis of infectious diseases and, and application in DNA fingerprinting, especially in maternity and paternity testing, criminal identification in forensic science and also personal identification. In all these procedures, we are looking for a specific DNA molecule. That's why we are following this procedure, that is southern blotting. Hope things are clear and I'll be back with yet another topic. Take care. Bye-bye.